Hi everyone, welcome to a godly home. This meal is being cooked in my camper. My kitchen is still torn apart and we just thought it would be so fun just to fix supper in the camper tonight. I am going to be making a simple recipe that I saw on the back of a pasta box for skillet lasagna. And I thought this was a good one for in the camper because it takes just one frying pan to make. And it's much cheaper than regular lasagna because you don't use as much of the mozzarella and ricotta cheese. So let's get started. The first thing that I did was I put one pound of hamburger into the frying pan over medium heat and I am going to cook that until it's cooked through. My hamburger was frozen so it was a little bit of a process. I added a little bit of seasoning salt to it and a little bit of pepper to it and just a little bit of garlic powder. And then while that hamburger was cooking, I decided I would start to get the toast ready for the oven and I keep this pizza pan to do my baking on in the camper. It sets right in my oven all the time. So I'm making two toast for Corey and one toast for me. I'm just going to butter it. Then I added just a tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper. And then the garlic powder. And I'm gonna set that aside and I will put that into the oven when it's time. So the next ingredient, once that hamburger is cooked, to go in is this 24 ounce can <clears throat> of pasta sauce and we will add a full can of water also and then half of a one pound package of penne pasta. Okay, this is where the recipe come from. It was a Target store brand pantry market box. And it says on here that we are going to cook it for 15 to 18 minutes once we add the sauce, water, and half a package of pasta. So 
So this is what it looks like after the can of sauce, one can of water, and a half a package of pasta. I put the cover on. Now it was time to get the toast ready. And I'm just sliding it in there on 350 degrees for just a few minutes. Once the pasta is almost done through, I took the ricotta cheese and I stirred it up really well, the ricotta cheese and the um, skillet dish. And then I just spooned little spoonfuls of the ricotta all over the top of this, just little amounts, not too much. I used about half of one of these small containers total. And then I took my spatula and just tried to thinly spread that over the top as best as I could without mixing it all the way through. And then I added the cover just long enough to let that warm through just a little bit. And then I decided really I should sprinkle just a little bit of garlic powder over that layer because I really haven't added very much spice to this at all. Then I decided to add just a little bit of pepper to that layer also. Then it was time to add the mozzarella cheese to the top and I had about a handful in this bag. It wasn't a whole lot and I just sprinkled that evenly all over the top. And then I put the cover back on and at this point, I just went ahead and shut my heat off because I just needed that mozzarella cheese to melt and I wanted the dish to start to cool down a little bit so it wouldn't be as runny. It could thicken up just a little bit before I served it. Now, when my toast was done, I went ahead and shut my oven off and then I just left it in there to stay warm. But now I am removing the toast. And I find with the camper ovens, it's better to cook at a lower temperature. This is what it looks like finished. It turned out beautiful. So while I was making the supper, my husband has his own air fryer for the camper that he really enjoys cooking in. So he had some frozen vegetable egg rolls that he cooked 
in there for us to have kind of like an appetizer, but we just ate it along with this, and they turned out beautifully. It was such a treat. And here is my husband's plate, including his egg roll. This was so good, and I would recommend this for working people who need a very quick meal. Um, if you're doing it over the campfire, this would work out great because it's one dish. Same with a power outage because it's just one dish. And we had a lot of this left over. I filled three of these Tupperwares with the leftovers for my husband to be able to take for lunches this week. And you know, it probably would freeze okay in these individual dishes also. Now, I should mention, you know, this is a basic recipe. We don't really like a lot of spices and a lot of things like that. A lot of times we just like basic recipes. But if you are somebody who enjoys using a lot of fresh herbs and stuff like that, you know, just build off of this recipe. The concept is the same. You're just going to add whatever spices or fresh herbs or anything additional that you want to add to it. So I start by rinsing down the dishes and of course you're trying to use the least amount of water possible in a camper even if you're not running off of your holding tanks if you're using direct hookup you still are having all of that go into your wastewater holding tank that will have to be emptied so the idea is to use the least amount of water that you need. So I put just a little bit of hot water in the dishpan with some soap and then the other side of the sink is really small so I set my cutting board there at an angle to keep the water from the dish strainer flowing into there and this is a mini dish strainer that I picked up from Dollar Tree also. And I would not want any bigger than one of these mini dish strainers. So I'm just going to start washing everything down. And when I rinse it, it will be just a trickle of water using what I absolutely need and then putting it right into the strainer. I realized I didn't have the camera positioned in a, a good spot, so I went ahead and repositioned that. And I put all my silverware and plates in after I washed the cups. And that way the silverware and stuff can be soaking for a little bit. And I just continue to wash and put in the strainer. And I will show you this real time because it goes really super fast like I try to plan the meals in the camper not to use a whole lot of pots and pans and things like that I like to keep the stuff fairly simple fairly simple cleanup and we kind of look forward to having you know different types of meals when we're in the camper and really honestly 
we had as much fun being in the camper this evening in our own backyard as if it was in a different location. Um, we actually planned on spending the night in it, but it ended up downpouring like around 10 o'clock and we came inside. But we spent the evening listening to Country Gold Saturday Night on the radio and we played board games and we watched the birds out the windows and there was a nice breeze and all the sunshine coming in and we had this nice supper and we just had an absolute great time. In fact, we had so much fun that the next morning we went ahead and came out and made a big breakfast, which you'll be seeing in an upcoming video. And um, when I did my giveaway drawing video, I shot it from the camper also. So you guys will probably be seeing quite a few videos this summer from my camper. And um, if you have not seen the drawing on the giveaway, if you entered in that giveaway, then I did put that up yesterday. So go ahead and take a look at that and see if you're one of the winners on that and make sure you contact me if you are so that I can get that mailed out to you. And I also mentioned in that video, if you are somebody that is in need of a Bible and a devotional, please go ahead and email me at agodlyhome85 at gmail.com and let me know that because we don't want anybody being without those materials. And if I get a lot of requests, what I'll do is I will just put you on a wait list. And then when your name comes up, I'll get that stuff sent out to you because you know, life is so great when you're able to get up every day and read a little devotional and read your Bible. It just makes such a difference. And we don't want anybody out there being without those materials if they're in need of them. And we did successfully um, mail into the Philippines. So we think that we can do this for you, even if you're international, international unless, you know, of course, you're in a country where it's illegal for you to receive a Bible, then, you know, I'd still love for you to have one, but I wouldn't be able to get one into you. So anyhow, there's the information on that. And you can see these dishes are just washing up so fast, it's just easy peasy. And this uh, pizza pan that I use in the camper, I just got that from Dollar Tree, and that works out great also. Now, the big skillet that I cooked in, that came from the Christmas tree shop, and I believe it's a Black & Decker brand. And I love that in the camper because it's like a dual purpose. I don't want the camper weighted down with too much stuff, but it's actually, you know, deep enough. I can use it as a kettle or use it as a frying pan and it's got a coating on it it's not teflon i'm not really sure what it is but it just wipes out super easy which is you know what i want when i'm in the camper i don't want something you know like my cast iron that i'm going to have to scrub and scrub on that would be okay like if i was cooking on the campfire but for just you know your regular cooking in the camper I really enjoy just having stuff that wipes out fast. Now, in this last week, we did get some yard work done, a little more gardening, a little more on the kitchen. I'll be showing a video at some point this week with the updates of all of that for anybody who is interested in that. Um, I do have somebody who has requested for me to make saltine crackers in the air fryer to see how that turns out, but I'm not going to be able to get that video done until my kitchen is completed so um that will be coming up at some point if anybody is curious about that i have not forgotten about that and i will be doing that video very soon 
All right, this was the last thing to wash was this skillet and um, that's a little bit big for the strainer. So I have this dish mat from Dollar Tree and I just set it on there for a few minutes and then I'll end up towel drying it because I don't want any, you know, water setting on the countertops. And you can see it's still not very much water in that dish pan. And I'm going to just dump it down my sink, rinse it out, make sure that I get the sink rinsed out good. And uh, once again, when I'm rinsing it out, I'm going to be using the least amount of water needed in order to get that job done. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. And I hope that you will give this skillet lasagna a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye, everyone.